This is a lesson which I've added on to the original course. A learner asked me how to combine lesson two, in which I showed how to drag and drop items from one list to either of two other lists, and lesson four, in which I demonstrated a script to reorder items within a single list. What this learner wanted to achieve was a combination of these, so that when items are dragged to a new list, or dragged up and down in the same list, they retain their display order. Here's a demonstration of this finished project. You can see that I can drag and drop from one list to another, and refresh the page, and the items are moved, and also their display order persists. Or I can drag them up and down in the same list, and again the display order is saved. This is quite simple to achieve based on what we've already done, so I'm not going to go through every step. Instead, I'll show the changes I made to our existing files. If you want, you can pause the video and try to do it yourself before I show you how I did it. The first thing I did was to modify the parts table in the database so that it has a display order field, just like the one for the list table in lesson 4. And to begin with, I set all the values for display order to the same as those for ID. Then I copied all the files from lesson 2 to this current project. I renamed reorder.js to reorder lists.js and connect with multiple.js to connect with multiple lists.js. As well as all the files from lesson 2, I also copied reorder.ajax.php from the Ajax folder of lesson 4 to the Ajax folder of this project. And I renamed connect with multiple.php to connect with multiple lists and reorder. .php. In that file, connect with multiple lists and reorder.php, I linked to both the jQuery scripts, connect with multiple lists.js and reorderlists.js. In classes.php, I altered the list output so that it contains item underscore prefixing the ID number for each list item. You'll remember from lesson 4 that we need this prefix and an underscore for serialize to work and perform the reordering action. I also added an order by clause to the three select queries, order by display order. Now we have a problem in the connect with multiple lists script. For this, we do not want to have item underscore, just the ID number alone. So in connect with multiple lists.js, we need to strip out item underscore from the HTML and get just the ID number. Use split on the underscore to split this into an array on the underscore. The string item is now the field 0 in this array, and the ID is field 1. And then use square brackets 1 to get just the raw ID number. Now for reorder lists.js. This is the same as before, except that instead of one list with the HTML ID list items, we now have three lists with the HTML IDs lots, enough, and none. Also, I removed access Y that constrained the mouse action so that it could only move vertically up and down one list. We need to be able to move across lists now as well. Load the project app and drag items from one list to another. Refresh. And the position display order persists. Drag them up and down in the same list. Refresh. And again the display order is stored in the database. So that's a natural extension of Lessons 2 and 4, and I hope you found it useful.